everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a very interesting sneaker from a very interesting person. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need to hit that like button on today's video. Also do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do drop a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the video and the sneaker itself we're about to look at today. And sub up to the channel if you haven't already. Now today we take a look at a sneaker. It's on one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. It's a collaboration from an artist. The artist's name is Nina Chanel Abney. She was born in Chicago. Illinois area and she's an artist and she based out of New York and she lets to explore through her artwork through her paintings and she lets to touch on subjects like gender, race, religion, homophobia just to name a couple of things that she likes to incorporate in her work. Now this sneaker uh, released last week on June the 20th on the Nike sneakers app, but she had an earlier release on her app. Oh, it was a headache trying to get them on the app. I ain't gonna lie, I tapped out, I waved the white flag, I went a different route, I reached out to Uncle Billy Go prior to release on her website because I saw that on the Nike sneakers app, my size wasn't even offered, so. With that being said, I'm gonna show you guys the box. You know, it's a very different box. It's texture all around. You got two or three in black. You got that Jordan Jump Man. And it's a little edited than your normal Jordan Jump Man. Just give you a look at the box. You got different designs on here. Almost look like referee stripes and an X. And show you guys that box tag. There you go, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read it to you. It says Women's Air Jordan 3 Retro OG SP. SP standing for Special Projects. And the color is Bi Coastal Black and Malachite. We've seen Malachite before, they've been using it a lot lately. The first sneaker comes to my uh, memory is the uh, those SB Dunks, those Malachite, that blue. And that green, the Ninja Turtle pair, yeah, that uh, comes to mind when I see the word Malachite. And it, this is a women's 16.5, which is the equivalent to a 15 men. It's your boy size, size 15 B noise for the toe. The price on these, I believe, was 225 retail. Uh, you're going to flip open the uh, box top. There you go, you got your lot stamp going around this back wall right there and take a look at the paper very detailed you had different artwork on here you have mj orange faces almost remind you of halloween uh i held it upside down you got 1988 on here 1988 we all know what that is they call they used to call me baby face in that year but uh that was the year of the jordan 3 debut to us the Jordan threes came out in 1988 we all remember that famous dunk contest that Dominique Wilkins got robbed in but you know I just opened up rooms right there uh, and we do have double tissue this one is uh, glossy on one side rough on the other and like I said earlier I reached out to Uncle Billy Goat it comes with that and let's look inside the box. Do we have any other goodies in here? I don't believe so. All we have is your green and white YCM sticker in there. And that's it with the box. So, oh yeah, underneath as well. For you guys wanna look at all that good stuff. Uh, so, let's get into the review. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 3, the Nina Chanel Abnis. Let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Uh, it's one of these unique sneakers. You either gonna like it or you're gonna dislike it. Me, I like it, it's different. And you know, once you pop out those uh, 
those fish to go with these these are really a good look but we're gonna start the sneakers made on an all canvas you have that bi-coastal colorway we also seen this bi-coastal colorway on what sneaker oh yeah the kobe uh full girl dance we had that colorway on that so uh we have this all canvas on here bi-coastal colorway and you have another layer of canvas going around here in that bi-coastal colorway and you do have your your toe box it almost like a short nappy green or sweet right there on your heel on your toe i should say and your heel you got it right here going on by your tpu unit uh you also have it right here on your uh upper heel your midsole you got that uh malachite or cell color midsole it is made of polyurethane material you have a uh hidden air unit and you have a visible air unit right here clear bubble malachite inside and it leads to the outsole the majority of the outsole is that malachite colorway you do have a hit of lime green at the toe and a hit of that orange right there and you do have nike branding right there on the uh heel here you go it's the back of the sneaker the uh malachite colorway you know the part that normally flaps back on the jaw and three well they decide to stitch it on entirely it is stitched on entirely you do have nike air on the back and the material is almost like a chanel feel almost like the chanel material that we had on the uh, those women jordans the white and red ones the uh those and uh you also have it a twist to it you have a jump man tag right there in that orange colorway there you go guys and we're gonna go to the media side of the sneaker you have more of that uh mail i'm sorry by coastal color canvas material all over here and they double it up right there with another layer of that by coastal color material you have that mail kite molded eyelet right there just like you had on the other side you got it on there, your, your TPU unit and all that good stuff in your holes right there. You also have that uh that little short grain of suede right there, like we had earlier with the toe and the heel as well. Midsole Sam Malachite colorway midsole T uh your air sole unit clear bubble white inside. Like I said, the uh, midsole is made up of polyurethane material. And let's take a look at the toe box of the sneaker. We do have tissue inside. There you go, it does come with this tissue. And give you guys a closer look at that toe box. So let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button on the video, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts with this sneaker. And you do have the uh, Malachite color uh, rope laces. And you do get additional laces with these. The orange, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, including myself, going to put the orange laces in here. Or the orange, if you're from the south. It gives it more of a pop. And uh, they also had an orange or orange hoodie that released on uh, John Brand as part of the collection that rolled out with this sneaker. I didn't try for any of those because me personally, I don't wear hoodies. I'm a sweatshirt, crew neck type of guy. And you do have that canvas tongue. Let's move this out of the way. And they did a little alteration to your jaw jump, man. It's embroidered on here, but you know, he's kind of boxy and fat right there. The tongue is exposed. They have that exposed material right there on the tongue. And this is the right sneaker on the back of there. You have genuine leather, or it appears to be genuine leather right here. Stitched on, Nina in white. And on the left sneaker, here you go. It says Air Jordan on the left sneaker. And you also have a hang tag on the left sneaker. It's two colored. It's back with Air, white on that side. It's just the opposite on that side. There you go, guys. That's the hang tag. It is affixed to the left sneaker. Uh, 
Let's show you guys what that insert looks like. This is what the insert looks like. Almost reminds me of the Tennessee Volunteers. There you go, you have that John Jumpman right there and that bi-coastal colored circle. And the black John Jumpman, and you have the bi-coastal colorway at the tip of your insert. And this is another Dream Cell insert. So, uh, let's see, sizing on these, I size up on my uh, Jordan 3s because lately the Jordan 3s, they've been cut differently than the back in the day. So I normally get a size up. I'm normally a size 14, so I got a size 15 in these. And this is a women's 16.5. Again, converted to men's sizing. It is a 15 men. And the production date is, uh, I'm sorry, November the 15th to January the 28th. So about a couple months of production with these. And going around your uh, sock liner, you have what appears to be some genuine leather right here in that malachite colorway on your uh, sock liner. So guys and gals, let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. How did the release go for you? Are these a must for you? Uh, I'm not sure what the hype is about them or if there's any hype about them, I should say. But uh, this was definitely an interesting pair that I really wanted in the collection. So with that being said, leave your thoughts and comments down below. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Fee Jack. I'm signing out.